Hey everybody, welcome back to Magic Orthodoxy. My name is David and this is a deck review. Hey, today we're gonna look at the Kings of India deck from Bavesh and Rina Mystery. And if you wanna learn more about them or their products, you can visit them at humbleraja.com. All right, so what is the Kings of India deck? Uh, it is a custom designed deck of playing cards inspired by India's four greatest dynasties. Uh, every single inch of this deck has been fully illustrated from the topography to the suits to the weapons to even the tiny little minutia details on the kings and queens. Uh, you're gonna see all kinds of uh, India's different monarchs, uh, the story of India. Uh, it, it, this deck even has two uh, illustrated historical index cards uh, as their jokers. Uh, like I said before, this deck is designed by Humble Raja. Uh, they're a detail-obsessed uh, duo, Bavesh and Rita Mystery, uh, that uh, also uh, is a graphic design firm called Apartment 4 Design. So you can rest assured that a lot of detail and design work and artistry was put into this deck. The front of the tuck case says Kings of India, and uh, it's kind of like a temple court with columns. Uh, and if you flip it over onto the back side, it's the same, it says Kings of India, but different language. Both of the sides of the tuck case say Humble Raja. And on the bottom of the tuck case, it also says Humble Raja and has a little bit of a detail about the deck. The top of the tuck flap just has a very simple design. It says quality playing cards designed and illustrated by Humble Raja, printed by the United States Playing Card Company. Also, if you open it up, you'll see the tuck liner is printed as well. And inside that, it also says Humble Raja and it says Kings of India and it has the Humble Raja website. That is pretty much it for the tuck case. Let's take a look at these cards. These cards are printed from the United States Playing Card Company and they do come on their casino grade stock. They do have a modern cut and air cushion emboss. And if you'd like to learn more about stock cut or finish, you can click the link below in the description. These cards, when they're measured with a the caliper, they come right in at the lowest uh, measurement for a casino grade card. Uh, they're coming in like a, around 3.02 for a 10 card thickness stack. Uh, these cards are gonna feel like the split spades, David Blaine. Uh, they're gonna feel a little bit like the crown deck or maybe even the miscellaneous goods deck. The back design is done in this really beautiful like turquoise green and you can see those same uh, columns that you saw on the tuck case. It does say India right there in the center uh, over an arrow and it is a two-way back design. And there's just a little tiny hint of color in that little red lotus right there at the top. With this deck, you're gonna get two jokers and when you stick them together, they form a diptych. Uh, this is a illustrated historical index of India. Also with this deck, you'll get two playable jokers. Uh, they are a peacock standing on a column and uh, in one it's facing left and in the other it's facing right. The pips and indices in this deck are quads. So that means you have one in every single corner. So it doesn't matter which way you hold it, doesn't matter which way you spread it, if you're left-handed or right-handed. Uh, if you just wanna do a poker peek, doesn't matter anyway, you will see the pip always. So your Ace of Spades has some Sanskrit there at the top and it says Mughal, 1326 CE to 1857 CE. It says edition number one, Kings of India and Humble Raja. Like I said before, every single inch of this deck has been redesigned and redrawn, and that includes the pips and the indices as well. You'll see that there are original uh, icons for all of your favorite suits. The court cards are really beautiful, and they're all done in a pen and ink. There's not much color other than the red in the suits, but each one of these court cards reveals the bold personality of a legendary monarch of India. Uh, and its queen, and so they go together. And then the jack would be his future successor. Uh, the Humble Raja looked at books, artifacts, documentaries, architecture, uh, all this stuff uh, to, to just relay to you India's rich history, and it all comes together in these beautiful courts. What Humble Raja has done is design the Kings of India deck in such a way that you can explore the history of India, but it doesn't get in the way of just playing your favorite game of cards. Uh, everything's legible, everything's easy to read, the character cards and the pips uh, are all easily identifiable. Uh, you still have your one-eyed jacks, you still have your suicide kings, and it's a great deck all around. All right, so that is the Kings of India deck from Humble Raja and HumbleRaja.com. As always, we ask that you like this video just so other people can find it faster. We also recommend that you subscribe to this channel just so you can stay up to date on the latest in cards and card magic. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. I'm at facebook.com slash magic orthodoxy, twitter.com slash magic orthodoxy, instagram.com slash magic underscore orthodoxy. And if you need more content, you can always find it at magic orthodoxy.com. Thanks. Bye.